Design of 50 MW Grid Connected Solar Power Plant Abstract This paper aimed at developing a convectional procedure for the design of large-scale, 50 MW, on-grid solar PV systems using the PVSYST software in AutoCAD. The output of the 50 MW grid connected solar PV system was also simulated using PVSYST software and design of plant layout and substation to transmit it to 132 kV bus bar using AutoCAD was done with all standard measures. The project began with a collection of databases of various renewable energy systems components from different producers. In this paper the standard procedure developed was a firm in the design of a 50 MW grid connected solar PV. This paper contains the different diagrams and single line diagrams that are required for the design of 50 MW grid connect solar power plant. Keywords, solar power plant, power system, plant layout, substation, substation design, AutoCAD design, PVSYST performance prediction. 1 Introduction 1.1 System Design and Objective Nowadays conventional sources are rapidly depleting. Moreover, the cost of energy is rising and therefore solar energy is one of the most economical and exploitable renewable sources of energy that can be harnessed for generation of power. There are several advantages of using solar energy like low establishment period, no raw material expenses, non-polluting and renewable form of energy, etc. India has very good conditions for the development of photovoltaic solar power systems due mainly the geographical location and it receives solar radiation almost throughout the year, which amounts to 3000 h of sunshine. This is equal to more than 5000 trillion kWh almost all parts of India receive 47 kWh of solar radiation per sq meters. The country's solar installed capacity reached 34.045 GW as of January 31, 2020. The Indian government had an initial target of 20 GW capacity for 2022, which was achieved four years ahead of schedule. In 2015 the target was raised to 100 GW of solar capacity, including 40 GW from rooftop solar, by 2022 targeting an investment of 100 billion US dollars. India has established nearly 42 solar parks to make land available to the promoters of solar plants. Photovoltaic modules or panels are made of semiconductors that allow sunlight to be converted directly into electricity. These modules can provide you with a safe, reliable, maintenance-free and environmentally friendly source of power for a very long time. A successful Implementation of solar PV system involves knowledge on their operational performance under varying climatic condition and also the adequate knowledge of overall plant layout design and design of substation with an appropriate rating of all the equipment used in the plant. A study was conducted for optimized design of 50 MW solar power plant considering all electrical regulation and standards. The general objective in designing a solar power plant to adequately match the capabilities to the load requirements of the consumer, at a minimum cost of the system to the consumer. In order to accomplish this, the designer will need to know the following types of questions about the system. 1. Power requirements. 2. Solar data availability. 3. Type and size of solar power plant required. 4. Cost of energy produced. 5. Solar power viability, 6. System characteristics, 7. System requirement, 8. Evaluation criteria, 9. Design optimization, 10. Economic viability and, 11. Prospects of cost reduction. 2. Description of solar PV grid system. Photovoltaic, PV, refers to the direct conversion of sunlight into electrical energy. PV finds application in varying fields such as off-grid domestic, off-grid non-domestic, grid-connected distributed PV and grid-connected centralized PV. The proposed 50 MWAC is a utility-scale grid interactive PV plant. FIG 2.1 Overview of Typical Solar PV Project 2.1 Solar Plant DC Components Solar PV Modules a PV cell is the principal building block of a solar PV plant. Basically, a semiconductor, PV cells convert sunlight into useful direct current, DC, electrical energy. 
PV cells are small in size and capable of generating only a few watts, W, of energy. However, PV plants are highly modular, i.e., modules can be combined together to generate power ranging from a few watts, W, to tens of megawatts, MW. Due to the electrical properties of PV cells, their manufacturing is restricted to a handful of raw materials. Each material has its unique characteristics which impact PV module performance, manufacturing process, and cost. PV cells may be based on either wafer, manufactured by cutting wafers from a solid ingot block of material, or thin film material, which is deposited onto low-cost substrates. Dot module structures allow PV modules to be securely attached to the ground at a fixed tilt angle, or on sun tracking frames which orient sun. PV cells can further be characterized according to the long-range structure of the semiconductor material used. FIG 2.2 Classification of PV Technology Inverter Inverters are solid-state electronic devices. They convert DC electricity generated by the PV modules into AC electricity. Inverters can also perform a variety of functions to maximize the output of the plant. These range from optimizing the voltage across the strings and monitoring string performance to logging data, and providing protection and isolation in case of irregularities in the grid or with the PV modules. There are two broad classes of inverters. I, string inverters 2, central inverter. Considering all the losses in inverter from DC to AC, in cables and other transmission losses solar plant will be designed with 45% overloading of inverter. 3. General layout and design of DC part of 50MW solar plant. Before making layout of the solar power plant, study and analysis is done of the given land. Study of the proposed site through satellite images to assess the suitability of the site for development of a 50MW AC solar PV plant is done. Also, by the help of PVSYST software all land analysis and generation prediction are done of the given land. Thus, by all the analysis and study it was concluded that for design of 50MW solar plant components to be used are I, 330WP solar module 2, 160KW string inverter, with 45% overloading Array of module that is a set of table is of 2x16 Approximately 250 acres of land will be used to place a 50MW solar power plant. As mentioned above per module is of 330WP, and each table have such 32 modules so per table capacity equals 10.56K. 450MW plant, one block of 858 tables having capacity of 6.25MW is selected. So. Total such 8 blocks are required to reach 50MW AC. As mentioned above 160 kW inverter is used in this 50MW plant. But overloading of 45% is considered so per inverter capacity would be 160 asterisk 1.45 equals 232 DC. Number of inverters for 50MW plant equals 312 units. Total inverter capacity of plant. 312 asterisk 232 equals 72384 MW DC. As per table is of 10.56 MW, total number of tables in 50 MW plant will be 6,864 units. Layout of the tables on the given land is done with a standard measurement. Such that shadows are avoided of the surrounding tables or other structure. Horizontal distance between two tables equals 0.100 M. Vertical distance between two table equals 3.5860 m. Pitch equals 7.500 m. 3.1 study of one block of 6.25 mw. Each block consists of total 858 tables and 39 inverters. So, for per inverter 22 tables are connected. The grouping of tables is done 22 table in one group connected to one inverter. Total such 8 blocks are made for 50MW plant. Per block, 6.25MW. Inverter, 160KW, 45% overloading. Therefore, 6.25 slash 0.160 equals 39 number of inverters per block. 
per inverter capacity 22 tables. So, for total 39 inverters in one block and total tables in one block 858 units. Hence, by standard dimension and land allocated all the tables, inverter, and IDT, inverter duty transformer, are place. Now DC cables are to be placed from every inverter to IDT in an optimized way in which minimum cable are stretched so as to set minimum DC cable losses and minimum digging work. In inverter DC power from solar generation is inverted to AC power which is collected and passed to the inverter duty transformer. By the help of LT cable power from inverter to IDT is transferred where power is stepped up by the transformer. After step up using HT cable it is passed to 3 3KV switchgear. 3.3 String Inverter Connection Fig 3.4 String Inverter Connection Diagram For 160 kW inverter, Hawaii I185KTL is selected. Data sheet of this inverter is provided at the end, as input capacity of this inverter is 18, 4 Y connectors will be used to connect the connection of 22 tables with an inverter. 3.4 Inverter to IDT Connection Diagram Fig 3.5 String Inverter to IDT Connection Diagram Equipment Ratings and Type Inverter Duty Transformer, IDT 5-6.25 MVA 33 kv 0 0.800 kv 0800 kv DY11Y110 and slash ONAF Type MCCB 400A3P30 Ka at 800V and 32A3P30 Ka Auxiliary Transformer 10KVA 800-415V DYN11 Cable 1.9-3.3KV 1RX3CX120 SQMM 1.9-3.3KV 1RX3CX300 SQMM 19/33 kV 1 RX 3 C 185 sqmm 4. Dot design of AC part of 50 MW solar power plant. Up till now, DC portion of plant was discussed that is up to IDT. After inverting the power from DC to AC power, it is to be step up so as to meet the voltage level and frequency of the line grid where the generated power is to be transferred. In AC portion of plant voltage level is quite higher so lots of protecting systems are required. In the power plant most important and costliest equipment is transformer which is to be protected first. Following are the electrical equipment used in the substation for protecting and metering purpose. IMV switchgear. 2 bus bar schemes. 3 switch yard. 4 circuit breakers. V isolators. 6 instrument transformers 7 surge arresters 8 insulators 9 metering X earthing system 11 lightning protection Fig 5.133 kV panel single line diagram 5 dot single line diagram SLD 5.1 SLD of 33 kV panel Power in IDT after step up to 33 kV it is passed to 33 kV switchgear panel. Here power is passed through the protecting system before transferring to 132 kV substation. Below SLD shows the flow of power in 33 kV panel. In the given panel surge arrestor is connected to protect from any short period surge power. Next comes CT for metering and protection. Then circuit breaker is placed to break the circuit in case of fault. Further on PT is placed to measuring and protection. From this power is transferred to main 33 kV panel. 5.2 General Substation SLD As discussed above, substation is equipped with the rated and fast responding protection equipment to make the smooth flow of power without any breakdown due to faults. 6 Simulation using PVSYST simulation software Data obtained for irradiation on collector plane, PV module, and inverter specifications and plant configuration are input into the PV modeling software PVSYST to calculate DC energy generated from the modules in hourly time steps throughout the year. This direct current is converted to AC in the inverter. A number of losses occur during the process. 
of converting irradiated solar energy into AC electricity fed into the grid. The losses may be described as a yield loss factor. They are calculated within the PV modeling software and calculated from the cable dimensions. 6.1 Monthwise Energy Yield Prediction, P50 6.2 Generation and Capacity Utilization Factor, CUF The Capacity Utilization Factor, CUF, also known as Plant Load Factor, PLF, of a PV power plant, usually expressed as a percentage is the ratio of the actual output over the period of a year and its output if it had operated at nominal power the entire year, as described in the formula below. CUF, AC, equals energy generated per annum, MWH, slash, 8760x installed AC capacity in MW. The year one generation and aggregate CUF, AC, on cumulative project capacity is as below. Year 1 Generation and CUF 50 MW Project Total P90 Generation 107,596 MWH P90% CUF, AC 24.56% P75 Generation 102,246 MWH P75% CUF AC 23.34% P50 generation 113,527 MWH P50% CUF AC 25.92% 6.3 performance ratio The quality of a PV power plant may be described by its performance ratio PR usually expressed as a percentage can be used to compare PV systems independent of size and solar resource. The PR is expressed as percent PR equals energy generated per annum x 100 percent slash installed capacity x plane of array irradiation. By normalizing with respect to irradiation at standard temperature conditions STC, the PR quantifies the overall effect of losses on the rated output and allows a comparison between PV plants. Expected Performance Ratio, PR 50 MW Project Total Percent PR of Year 1 80.70% FIG 6.1 Normalized Production Per Installed Kilowatt Hour FIG 6.2 Performance Ration PR 7 Conclusion Hence a study was concluded for 50 MW on grid solar power plant Concluding the overview of solar plant with all the necessary components of DC as well as for AC. With all this analysis a design of 50MW on grid solar power plant was done using AutoCAD. Designs included the plant layout and all the electrical diagrams with electrical standard measures. Also, using PVSYST software plant efficiency and generation prediction was calculated which comes out to be 80.70% for one year. Also, after studying whole plant and its procedure to develop it, some of the research study was done along with this design which can be helpful in future to increase the efficiency of any solar plant. Firstly, using the black silicon in manufacturing of PV module will increase the module efficiency as black silicon trap and hold maximum solar radiations. Another idea can be implemented in future of agro-solar plant which include the agriculture of herbs on a cultivated land also can fix solar plant both simultaneously which is said to be agro-solar plant. Also updating a technology in software used in designing the plant which can reduce man work and software can calculate and design its own plant design by knowing land coordinates and plant capacity required.